everyone good morning happy friday i hope everyone's doing well I'm trying to get my notes here for you uh hope everyone's doing well um i'm tucked myself into this little corner training here today and it's absolutely beautiful um so i just wanted to sit outside just my favorite place to be right now and uh chat with you a little bit today um, and I always wait for that message to come and then my fingers do the walking I do a little writing and I just love sharing my message with you a lot of it is from my own walk I think it's important that we sometimes share what's going on in our lives so that we don't feel alone in, in, in what's going on in our life. Um, so just know that there's many of us, you know, just trying to sustain and trying to do better and trying to do bigger and better things. Um, some of us are just on survival mode. Um, so I'm trying to let you know and give you the message that we don't need to be on survival mode there's just so much more living to be done um you know and as as a health coach and life coach uh, my intention is to show you a new way of doing and moving and being in in your life you know one that is more sustainable and one that's going to sustain you for the rest of your life by accessing you know ease and flow with everything that you do um but we have to trust the process you know we, we have to trust ourselves we have to allow the process to show that this new way of being and doing through honoring ourselves yourself is to take the space that you need to integrate this into a daily practice we have to take the time to do it and it's possible anything's possible when you put your mind through it to it and uh, making new changes brings challenges you know but we must honor ourselves enough to push through um, when we integrate these small steps into habit change and we remember why we started and wanted these small changes in the first place you know this is our motivation to try it again and again and again and again until it becomes um a, a new form habit a new way of doing things a way of becoming better becoming more of who we are you know we really can live differently you know we can change our quality of life we can change our lifestyles if we allow ourselves that time and that space you know, the biggest challenge for me hasn't been taking the next step or finding the courage to say yes. And yeah, there are challenges. There's many, many challenges. You know, but the greatest challenge of all is that little voice in your head. You know, that's trying to decide for you that you're never going to do this. You're never going to change. You know, nothing's ever going to change. But guess what? You know, what I've experienced in, in this short time, you know, I've lived so many internal changes since I started this journey that I myself am awestruck. You know, of course, there's always going to be that inner struggle. We're always going to have that, you know, but every day with, with small steps, you know, and, and, and the less we listen to that small voice in, in your head, you know, that voice is still in my head. You know, the less that I listen to it, the less it speaks and the quieter it gets, you know. So I win. I'm winning. I'm winning the game of change. You know, I want to win this game of the life that I want. You know, that's why I, I, I surround myself with a tribe of men and women, strong, strong women. You know, I have a coach. You know, I have an amazing family you know i continue to surround myself with people who want to grow and learn and empower themselves and and they know that every time they take a step 
towards something new, something bigger, something better, you know, what they desire, you know, that positivity is going to stay. That vibration is going to be high. And, and that's what fuels us. That's what fuels you to continue to say yes. You know, so say yes to what's inherently yours. You know, it is already God given. You know, all you have to do is ask for it. You know, and know why you want it. You know, and not that you're not already amazing because you are. But imagine if you ex could experience so much more life and so much more living. You know, there's a biblical story in Ezekiel 37. It's called Dry Bones. You know, Ezekiel was given a vision. And in his, in his dream state, he was transported to a valley. And there were bare bones. And they were scattered everywhere. And God asked, Ezekiel, son of man, can these bones become living people again? And L Lord, Ezekiel replied, only you alone know the answer to that. Only you have the answer to what you want. Only you have the answer to how you want your life to play out. You know, let me ask you, do you believe that there's hope in new beginnings and having new perspectives in, in life, in your life, and doing things differently so that you can thrive? Do you believe that? Do you believe that you can honor yourself enough to thrive, to change your perspective? You know, what will breathe back, what will breathe life back into your ideas, into, into changes that you want to make? In, in birthing creativity and having the vitality to redesign and live the life that you want. What's going to give you that breath, that new, that new breath to, to recreate, to, to become alive, to, to want to share with you something real quick. I'm working with a photographer because I'm trying to get my cultivating soil and spirit um bare rooted um i'm changing my name of thrive so i'm really working on that it's still going to be a process but i'm working on developing how to work with women and groups workshops retreats with nature and, and and using mother nature as my as my theme and as my life thriving motivation um because i love to be outside so much so I'm working with this great photographer. Um, he's become a great friend. And I wanted a picture of myself out in nature. So we took pics and we used trees. And I wanted him to integrate me within into the tree um, so that I can become part of the tree of the life-giving uh, roots. So we take the pics. He gives me back some of the photographs. And what I saw was not what I thought. I thought it was going to be creative, and which it was in, in its own way. But what it showed me was how I was feeling inside. It was sad. It was dark. My outside was not reflecting my inside. I was not in alignment with with what you're seeing, with what you see that I'm trying to give you. You know, to me, that was dry bones. I was dead inside. There was no breath, no fresh air. There was no, nothing new that was pushing me to redesign my life, to, to become what I was meant to become. And that shifted my whole, my whole being. Because I want to feel inside the way that you see outside. I want to become one. And that pick for me was a change, a game changer. So I'm asking you to, that's why I look within, see what's in there. How are you feeling? You know, because we, our identity, you know, and who we are with certain people and how we act in the workplace and we're being so many different things for so many 
avenues for so many things that we have in our life for, for so many encounters we're always giving a different face a different part of us why not become one and show everyone who you truly are it's just so much more relaxing and it's just so not stressful and it's so much less fatigue you know you don't feel like your spirit is here and your legs are there you know become whole you know, breathe some air into those dry bones. You know, the path to personal transformation begins with an idea, which is my pick, a thought, which is my cultivating soul and spirit. You know, our thought expands when we're proactive, when we desire, when we really want it from like deep within, when we know that there needs to be a change in our lives. When we're uncomfortable, there's something that needs change. And knowing your why, your reason to want it, to bring things forth and give give new birth and, and give an idea a new birth. And and rebirth is amazing. It's it's like breathing in new air, breathing in fresh air, you know, believing that there is something greater than yourself that within you is all you need to achieve and succeed. I mean, that's the lottery right there. You know, no matter what, we have been given that birthright to become who we're supposed to be. It is, it, it's yours if you want it, you know, you know, step onto that red carpet of all that is good and, and become that amazing person. Take that amazing life that's yours. You know, it's such an exciting ride. Um, you know, get on that roller coaster and open yourself up to an adventure. You know, who's telling you no? Are you telling yourself no? Open yourself up to new experiences. You know, go on a trip by yourself. Spend a weekend by yourself. Just do something different. It's going to bring such new life, such new vibration such new mindset it's just gonna make you live again you know it's like when we go on vacation we we're looking forward to that it's a new new space new surroundings do that every day allow yourself to do that every day you know in the kundalini tradition it is believed that personal liberation is possible through accessing the divine within yourself. Get to know who you are. And you'll discover that so much is possible. Give yourself the opportunity. Allow yourself to live. Allow yourself to give yourself all that is good. And love yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. Have an amazing Friday. If it's raining where you are, enjoy it. I'm loving it right now. Thank you for watching again. Love you guys. And um, if you want to talk, I'm here looking for some great clients, some ideal, wonderful, superpower women that just need a little bit more push. I'm here for you. Let's have that conversation. And um, just go on Calendly and set yourself up with an appointment. Love you guys. Bye.